For months, we've talked to people struggling to solve homelessness, but we realized our story wasn't just about the crisis. It's about discovering who the homeless really are. People blame homelessness on the person. It's their fault. They made bad decisions. We all make bad decisions. And they should just be able to get out of homelessness themselves. It doesn't work like that. There's a lot of us out here that don't do drugs. We're people too, we just, we're just hurting a little bit more. How you doing? Mark Horvath has devoted his life to shattering stereotypes about the homeless. He created a web series called Invisible People. You've been living outside for far too long. I've been out here two years. If people can just look inside of homeless people and see really what they're going through, we've been and just, just bouncing around. Where are you sleeping? I found an abandoned one house. More than anyone else in the country, Horbath's interviews give the homeless a face and a voice. We're regular people out here just like everybody else, living from day to day or paycheck to paycheck. When it comes to the homeless, what are we not seeing? You're not seeing them. But we do see them, we just ignore them. Very true, and I put them back in your face. Invisible people are saying, hey, they're here. We need to help these people. You're out here homeless in Gainesville. You're out here homeless in Salt Lake City. Horvath has traveled to over 300 cities. This is where you live. Interviewed more than 600 people. Hi. Millions of viewers a year watch his stories on social media. His work has attracted corporate sponsors like Ford Motors and Haynes. In LA and around the country, Horvath works alone with only a video camera and a pack of socks. Could you use some socks? I could show you or use some socks, man. Once they agree, he turns on his camera. You're homeless, tell me about it. His intimate portraits are raw. This is how she gets to her camp. And gritty. This is where you live? Like this one of Manda, Each one of these ten who gave Horvath a tour of her homeless camp under a bridge in Seattle. You remain positive even though you're going on to the bathroom outside. Yeah, it's like camping. But you keep telling yourself that. You have to. You have to. Yes? Olivia? Yes. Olivia and her son Alex have been living in this Los Angeles motel since Christmas. I mean, you can't afford an apartment. No. Olivia makes just 12 bucks an hour. She's one of the working homeless people with full-time jobs who still can't afford rent. Roderick was lying because... She dreams of going to law school, but for now, she tries to shield her son from the drugs and prostitutes outside their motel. Little kids are always drawn into that gang lifestyle. We met Olivia and her son away from their motel room. So when you're in these hotel rooms with him, can he go outside and play? No. No. It's not safe. He stays in the room. Yeah. Everybody gets shot. So what do you know about where you live? It's bad and we only have a one bed. We don't have a couch like this. And we don't have a room. Like a real room, like a door like that. And that's all I know. You're working Behind the lens, Horvath feels their pain because it's familiar. How do you even survive? After losing his job in the TV business in 1994, Horvath turned to drugs and alcohol, and he became homeless. That's when he found himself here on Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, I literally have slept on this boulevard. It was hell. I beat myself up every day. How did I get here? It took years for him to get sober. Hey, man. Finally back on his feet, he decided to use his TV skills to tell the homeless story. How long have you been out here? You cannot allow people to die on the streets now while you're waiting to solve homelessness in the future. This isn't our lifestyle. We just want a place to go. Thank you very much for talking to me. Horvath says he is always struck by their resilience and insists he remembers every person he's ever interviewed. To grow up happy together, that, that's what we want. Of the hundreds of videos he's made, this one of Monica and her five children has stayed with him. We'll close it out while you guys sing it another song. Oh, beautiful.
If we don't change people's perceptions, we're never going to gain the public support needed to end homelessness.